Hello friends, welcome to the Lab Techs. My name is Nasser and today we will discuss a case study. This is 1708 model MacBook Pro Retina screen and uh, the part number is 820-00840-A. So most of the time when we receive this type of board, we usually get uh, either some C type IC is faulty and some of the time uh, time the auxiliary component nearby like LDO area of uh, C type IC and uh, 3.42 volt G3 hot voltage uh, are missing. These are the common issues. Rest, uh, if no display, then you have to check all entire communication of PCH and uh, CPU and also RAM. You, you need to check all the communication uh, around that. So now this is a quite fresh board. Nobody has worked on it. This is a good thing. And uh, let's come and have a look. What is the issue here? So uh, let me inject uh, DC jack and let me tell you what is the condition here. So I'm going to use adapter here and you can see the rating. What is written here? So it is five volt. It is 5.8 volt 0.02 ampere so it is not turning on and uh, we have full laptop so it's good thing that uh, if it is repairable then i will show you the display usually we get uh, only bare motherboard and uh, we cannot check the display most of the time so here 5.0 volt why is that uh, 5 volt is only consist of on the dc jack area because most of the time when your uh, communication, UART communication is not completed, like here, CD3215, this IC is responsible to send uh, or to communicate with each other, like uh, uh, UART communication, uh, your uh, TX and RX, data transmitting uh, will take place. And if, uh, if everything is all right, then only your V bus will turn 5 volt into 20 volt. So the minimum level and maximum level also there is uh, uh, written on the data sheet like uh, it could be 3.9 uh, volt to 23 volt. Then it will go under the over voltage lockout. Otherwise, uh, if it is under the 20 volt, I think this is the good condition of the UART or C type of IC. So it is quite fresh board and I think uh, we will not get any a clue the thing you have to check in this type of uh, condition that uh, your uart communi communication need to be fulfilled then only so the good thing here that only two c type ic is there and one controller for the u type uh, c type is given so this is the controller here and uh, this is the bcm 1577 so very rarely we get this is faulty where is the 3.42 volt so let's come and find that uh, do we have 3.42 volt available on the board so let me check where it is we need to search the diagram i think this one is uh, this is the charging ic and here this is the area where 3.42 volt we should get okay so we have schematic and board view also here this is the area and uh, there is a coil this is the l so you can see here that g3 hot vr voltage we are required here so now let me check uh, do we get this voltage because uh, at any cost you will get this voltage even you have 5 volt uh, dc in or V bus voltage is 5 volt either it is 20 volt but at any cost you will get first this voltage now let me show multimeter so 3.41 volt is available on this particular pin okay so let's come and check C area so there are the some LDO point here okay So many things are there and uh, let me examine first of all that uh, any clue 
we get C. Here, this is the corrosion area and uh, I think uh, this register and this capacitor might be having problem. And what is this? You can check by board view that this area X, B, S, B, I. Look, this IC is the combination of U, R, S, B, I communication, I to C. So each and everything is required to carry out all types of uh, FIFO, you know, process. Like uh, all types of data will be uh, transferred into the board unless you have SPI communication uh, all right or I2C communication all right and also UART communication is all right. Then only you can expect that it will, it will, the V bus will be released. So here is the SPI area of the C type is having faulty, I think. So this is the register 3091, 3091, let's type R. 3091 15 ohm so this as you know very well so in order to carry out the SPI communication it requires chip select uh, data in data out and also clock and all are pass across uh, very less amount of register usually between uh, 10 kilo uh, 10 ohm to 45 ohm usually you will see in between the path so let's check the value 15 ohm is available or not i think it is going so we need to replace this area capacitor it must be all right so you are not able to see my multimeter sorry guys so here capacitor is all right but register condition you can see it's moving here and there so first i will not force it because there is a track so better to remove it by hot air gun now let me move aside so track should not be missed from this place otherwise we have to remove the c type ic and then we have to make a jumper wire and then we will fulfill its communication otherwise uh, the data will not or the clock will not pass whatever the value is written on the data sheet so this type this side track is missing i think so let's just scratch this area So here, this side track is missing. So now what we are required, we need to find out that where it is going to and where it is coming from. So it is, I think, uh, very close of the track. See, this is the track area. So we need a big register. So this is the track here. So any of uh, your communication is uh, missing. So your V bus is not going to work. Okay. So this is the concept of C type of uh, DC input. Okay. So we will use a 15 ohm, uh, slightly big register here. So let me pick board so in macbook i think uh, air i'm looking 
for MacBook Pro because there I can find a 10 ohm register so that might be having problem nearby BIOS 15 ohm I could find very easily so let's uh, search it on the nearby BIOS this area no backside here This is uh, 46 ohm, 48, 46, where is the 15, 0, here, 15, yeah, this one. So this is the MacBook Pro uh, 1278 model and uh, from this model because I am required slightly big register than that one which was used in 1708 model because the track is missing and I just don't want to use a uh, jumper wire instead of that I am using a slightly bigger size so that I can connect on the both terminal now it is a little bit complicated to fix the big register on place of very small one and there is the one more track you always have to remember this track i think both way communication let's me let me check on the two place if it is going And this one I have to make it sure that uh, where it is going. 15 ohm. Okay, this one is connected with this one. And this one is not connected with this one. So I think uh, this will touch this area. Okay, so the big one will touch this area. So I am again require the small one. So let me find. So here I have a scrap motherboard. Uh, you can you cannot use here uh, the different value of register just because uh, the communication mm, error may occur if you use the different rest, the different register value because the timing of the clock and timing of the data will mismatch and that could cause some problem so this is what i don't want i need to struggle to find out the same value here i will get 33 ohm i i believe i will not get 15 ohm on this area here 33 ohm and 10 could be good so if I don't get I will use 10 but this is also a big one here is the 10 this one 150 these are the big one I am not required big one so it is really terrible to find 15 ohm so donor board i have here also i can get air i have air board so now on the nearby bias there will be 25 ohm for 15 yes 25 and this one is the 15 so now take out so i now don't want to use the big one just because of uh, the two tracks are there and uh, it could touch on the different area so that is why now i will uh, fix that one place and uh, the other area i will use a jumper wire to connect on the track wherever it is going 
and remember one thing the, the other one is also having suspicion you can see here that uh, I am required one more let's fix first one of this one first of all and uh, it's better to move the board this side yes now the other one is also moving you can see here okay and uh, let's remove this one also and check the value the track is missing also this place so these are the very common faults and macbook board the liquid damage water damage again i have to find two same value of register because uh, the terminal has came out now let's find out let me check the value once again that uh, where i could get this value of register Twenty-five. this side Hmm. So one I could get. So fifteen I could get one, and else twenty-five. Here forty-three, forty-three. I think one I can get. All are forty-three. So let's use this one at least. 15 so the this one where the track is available let me fix this one first because this one i have to manage with a jumper wire okay so it is absolutely fine now one more i am required so if i could get there i can get it 15 ohm 10 ohm i can get nearby charging ic of macbook air 15 ohm no else area i don't remember this is also macbook air but uh, 12 inch and let me check whether i can get here 15 yes we have got here so remove from here the first one which we have used the uh, terminal is removed from one side because there is a no two track there on the communication area you should match the value so that you can fulfill its communication otherwise the timing issue could come here and it will not again work come on now from here to here we have to make a jumper wire okay so i need a very thin wire in order to make a jumper wire so here is the my wire and uh, this is not coated wire so first of all let me put some solder on it okay and then where it is going let's find out so this is the board side 
and uh, let me check it here. It is nowhere. Um, it's going back, maybe. Yes. So, this is the only point we have to connect this area. So, here to here we have to make a jumper wire. must be on the track. Good. Now clean this area. So, let's have a look. So it is on the track and the track is going this area and it is go going to the back side of the motherboard. Now it is well connected and uh, all are the 15 ohm value. I think uh, we haven't checked this value. Okay, so once let's confirm this area that which value I think clock area and SPI clock 3090. So 3090 here 15 the same we have used. So MISO, MOSI and clock, all types of things are required. 15 ohm bypass register. So I think everything is all right. If inside the balls are okay, then I think uh, it should work. So now have a look what happens. We are going to inject voltage now, DC jack and uh, there is my Adapter 5.08 now converted into now ampere is also increased so it is turned on okay 19.5 volt from this jack also this jack you have to check 5.07 now 19.1 it's ampere turn 58 milliampere so it is turned on. So let me pack the motherboard and uh, then we will check that's what is the scenario. So now I have just fit uh, this and I did not use any screw. So now let me open the panel. Yes, battery is charged. I think the booting sound has come. Now let's see the display has come successfully. So I hope guys that uh, you have learned something new and uh, let's keep on learning and keep on liking and sharing our videos and uh, if you wish that uh, you get this types of case study uh, time to time so kindly subscribe our channel. So let's see uh, the next uh, in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video.